Hey everybody, this is Josh here, the Gray Bearded Green Beret. Just want to let you know that the GB2 Distance Learning Center is live now. I'm developing this Distance Learning Center with three people in mind, really. It's for the people that want to prepare themselves for a physical class with me. It's also for those of you out there who, no matter what, be it financial, be it physical, be it distance, whatever the reason may be, you'll never be able to make it to a physical class and come train with me, so I wanna make my training available to you. It's also for those of you who have taken physical classes with me, but you want a refresher, or you wanna have that reference material, and the Digital Learning Center is something that you can access for life. The first course is up and running right now. This course is about controlling bleeding in a remote wilderness emergency scenario. What to do when you're all you've got and nobody else is coming anytime soon. Here's a look inside the course that shows you how to put on an Israeli bandage. So for the Israeli bandage, this has basically a dressing built in and it's also elastic. So it works really well for this. But once I've got that wound packed, if I'm using an Israeli dressing, I want to maintain that pressure on there and I'm going to replace this manual pressure with this pressure dressing. So when you open this up, you're going to have a cleat and of course you're going to have a reasonably sterile field right here that you're going to place directly over the wound and you want that cleat to be directly over the wound as well. So what I'm going to do is maintaining that pressure, I'm going to wrap that around, I'm going to bring this around, give it a nice tug to make sure it's tight, and then I'm going to come down through this cleat. And once I'm through that cleat, I'm going to reverse direction, coming across this way. And I want to pull that until this collapses over, because now what's happening is this cleat is applying direct pressure directly over top of the wound. I'm going to keep that tight and continue to wrap it around. I'm going to completely encompass that sterile field if possible. Give it nice short tugs as I go around to keep it tight. Making sure that I come all the way down on both sides keeps a lot of the dirt and debris out of this. It keeps the wound a little bit cleaner. Once I get to the end, I'm gonna have a second cleat. And all you have to do with that is bring up a layer, set it inside. It'll capture on those teeth in that cleat. Bring up another layer on the other side and capture that. So with this, what I don't want is I want pressure on this. This this pressure dressing replaced my manual pressure, but what I don't want still is a tourniquet effect. So it's a good idea when you're putting this type of intervention on to kind of check, it should be about one finger tight, should still have reasonably good capillary refill, and you should still be able to feel a radial pulse. When you're checking for the radial pulse, it's right here, imagine this thumb is still here. Right here along the thumb, on the inside, using two fingers. Don't use your thumb because your thumb has its own pulse. Two fingers, place it right inside there, and you should be able to still feel the pulse. And that means you have not created the tourniquet effect, which is not what you're going for. So this is good to go. Now keep in mind, this is just one of many skills that I cover in this course. During these courses, because it's on a different platform, I'm not limited by the platform. So I can go as deep into these courses as I want to go. I'm not limited to the attention span of the masses and I'm under no time constraint. Like I would, even at a physical class, I do have some time constraints so I can only cover certain things within the context of that class. For this, it's one-on-one, -on -one, it's self-paced, there's no time limit. I can go as far into the weeds as I want to on every single subject that I choose to put on the Distance Learning Center. With that said, for this course, Controlling Bleeding in a Remote Wilderness Emergency, I'm going to go over cardiovascular anatomy. I'm going to talk about types and characteristics of bleeds. We're going to take a look at some of the old, outdated protocol that a lot of us in the military learned back in the day, and we're going to replace that 
with a newer, more updated protocol. Right? We're going to talk about things like wound packing and using hemostatic agents like quick clot. We'll talk about pressure dressings and how to use things like the Israeli bandage that you were able to preview here in this video. We'll also talk about the application of different tourniquets like the CAT. We'll talk about the soft tea. We'll talk about the RevMedics TX2 and TX3. We'll also get into what should be in your trauma kit for bleeds, but also how to improvise with your 10Cs kit for when you find yourself less than prepared for whatever emergency you're facing at the time. With that said, I hope you enjoyed this preview and I look forward to seeing you guys at the GB2 Distance Learning Center on Thinkific. I'll put that link in the description below. Till next time, appreciate your likes, your views, your comments, and questions. Put those below. And I hope to see you in the woods.